Hey guys, Looney here. Welcome back to yet another tutorial for your Bucket plugin. For mainly your Bucket server. Your Bucket server. Uh, you could develop this for a friend Bucket server, but mainly yours. Um, <laughs> anyway guys, so this tutorial we're going to be doing a player interact event. Um, just so, basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to be doing this interact event for um, a, I don't know, um, let's think. Um, it, it's mainly for the nether star, so when you click on the nether star, it will say information about the server, so Instead of putting welcome to our server, I'm going to put server info And obviously I'm going to go ahead and do it in this one as well So server info and you know, I'll, I'll add it to the bottom, so slash slash uh, player Interact event uh, at event handler public void uh, I'm going to put player interact actually uh, on p interact um, and then player interact event uh, entity uh, you don't want entity it's just the uh, interact event and then E and then blah 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 uh, so that's that import player interact event I believe we have entity in which we don't want in uh, so go ahead and delete that if you accidentally did do that as well so here I'm going to put player p equals e dot get player uh, obviously we need the player name capital P and that's that so we're going to go ahead and do slash slash uh, nether star nether star interact uh, so it will be if and then action uh, so it will be e dot get action uh, and e dot get action and then equals equals action dot left click e or a block so if you want the player to click e for it to come up or a block go ahead and do that I'm going to copy and paste it for both anyway um, just mainly so it doesn't matter what they click um, so if player or oh, actually p.get item in hand is a um, well, basically we need to get the type and uh, the thing is the material dot uh, nether star so basically it's saying if the item in the player's hand is a nether star uh, then to do this so we'll do p dot send message and uh, chat color dot gold plus this is a tutorial if this helps you please subscribe to my youtube channel and then p dot send message because we want to uh, send them another message which would be um, let's say we want it to be in um, blue and then plus http youtube dot com forward slash user forward slash ngx iepics x so that basically it's going to display them too uh, it's very very useful um, so I'm actually going to go ahead and copy this so it's one two so it'll be the two here copy and paste and uh, instead of ear I'm going to do block it's going to be the exact same um, and also um, that should be it so that's that and if we go ahead and actually I'm going to go ahead and um, go into here and change it from zero to at uh, one to zero sorry because I want it to be in the um, in the first slot because I'm weird no, I'm joking um, anyway so we want to go ahead and export it and because we haven't added commands for quite a while you don't need to add commands uh, wait, in fact before we do that I'm going to do a uh, in the player death event uh, you want to do p dot get inventory dot get item uh, item drops I believe and then dot clear if I'm correct that's how it goes 
no, no, it is E dot get drops. That's it. <laughs> I was thinking then. E dot gets drops. Stop clear. So basically, if the player dies, everything and anything that they had in their inventory is going to disappear. So no one can pick it up. Um, it's not even going to be there like on the ground for a second. It's just literally just going to disappear. It's basically like setting the inventory to nothing, uh, in a way. So let's go ahead and finish. And yes, uh, obviously that overwrites it. So launch the server oh and if you was wondering why my server thing always kept on saying one it's because i didn't refresh it after i always stopped the server so as you can see it's enabled so we can go ahead and launch well join the server and we're now in the server as you can see it's called server info if we right click it okay left click i don't know why i did left click action uh, so if you left click it this is a tutorial if this helps you please subscribe to my youtube channel and then the link that can also just go ahead and click yes if I wanted to and that displays it so it doesn't matter where you click uh, I should you should really add like some sort of cooldown on here otherwise someone could keep spamming it I know it spams it for them only uh, but yeah so yeah that's pretty cool um, <laughs> pretty cool but if we typed message and let's say we was breaking a block it won't spam it until the end of a block so not allowing the player to break a block is kind of a good thing so if we manually add myself to default um, and did this you realize that okay okay I think I'm opt D -op -N -G -X. Um you realize that if I break a block uh, let me just do that if I break a block uh, sorry if I break, uh, break a block it won't show up twice so that's only if you break a block that it will show up twice but uh, if you do it to this uh, let me put an A it, w it will spam if it's grass and stuff like that uh, so that is pretty much bad so you could really do a cooldown uh, basically you're setting a boolean um, cooldowns aren't really hard I'll, I should really do one in the tutorial next um, but yeah I'll, I don't know um, putting a cooldown isn't really hard where basically uh, as soon as the information is set it sets a boolean uh, I don't know there's a timer where it waits 5 seconds and sets the boolean to false uh, or something um, like that and changes it uh, but yeah it's pretty cool guys um, obviously if you, you really wanted to you could change the action to left uh, sorry right click instead of left as it is more helpful but uh, yeah it's not bad it's pretty cool so yeah that is it um, <laughs> so yeah guys that consists of this tutorial I hope you enjoyed the I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have, please leave a rating as it really does help me out. And I don't really know what I'm going to go ahead and do in the next episode. Um, I really don't. Actually, I do. We're going to go ahead and set the hub. So, you know, the command slash set hub and slash hub. Um, or maybe we'll just do slash hub and it reads it from the config uh, or something. So, yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. And I hope to see you next time. See you guys.